Okay, so those of you on YouTube, welcome, welcome to the PC Gaming Show. In case you don't know what I'm laughing about, I just said I should hit record. And I hit stop stream by accident because the buttons are right next to each other. So, uh, whoops. <laughs> Hopefully stream will come back up so shortly here. Um. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so now that <laughs> no way, come back. Someone, someone say, someone tell people to hit refresh. I'm here. I'm here. Um. Ah, uh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a little tired. <laughs> That's what you do. I'm a little. I get a little <laughs> when I get tired. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the PC Gaming Show. We're starting up in about 2 minutes and 27 seconds here. They are going to have a whole lot of stuff. Like, seriously, the list is huge. There are a lot of companies and a lot of games. It's going to be like a 90-minute conference. Um, there might not be a lot of talking on my behalf. That's totally cool. I do hope you're liking the beer. I, it's, I'm still working on it. I still haven't even decided if I'm keeping it yet. But as usual, you know, it's, it's, easier, to, uh, it's easier to chop than to grow. So if I decide I don't like it, you know, it will take me about 20 seconds to get rid of this, you know. Just... Here's the game I'm most looking forward to so far, unironically and unjokingly. This game is so far the best game I've seen at E3 so far. Not even joking about that. I am hopeful that something at PC, Capcom, or Nintendo can surpass that. That is Horizon uh, Forza Horizons 5, Guido for Life. It is an open-world MMO-ish racing game, and it looks legit. Like, I, I know, it, you, you have to be into racing, but I am a little bit of a petrol head. You know, I'm, a, I'm rather into racing and cars and all that stuff, and it, it looks cool. You know, just racing, race, look at this, just racing around the countryside, having fun, going through it. That would be the number two one, Alex. Because, see, the thing is, this is going to sound horrible, but they didn't show us enough for me to be certain about Mario plus Rabbids 2. You know what I mean? They could still screw Mario plus Rabbids 2 up, but they showed us quite a bit of Forza Horizon, so I'm more certain about that one. Make sense? <sighs> Not in a long time, love Baltazar. I was actually going for my racing license for a bit there. Gave up on it. Yeah, I know I'm blocking the screen. I'll get rid of it. Oh, actually, it looks like we got 30 seconds left, so I'll do it right now. So let's go. Nobody wants to see me anyways. Get rid of chat. You gonna get off the screen, you random people? You got 18 seconds to get off the screen. Today we'll be talking about no Rigon. I just want to kill chaos. You, you can't see me killing myself anymore. Oh, yeah, by the way, suicide. <clears throat> Let's make sure we're nice and YouTube friendly here. Come on. Stop talking. Stop talking. It says zero. You can see it in the upper right. Zero. This is, this is it, right? PC gaming show? Yeah, no, this is it. Well, I appreciate it, Venetia. I do make an effort to try and do the gnomish voice properly. Oh, here we go. Why does she get the mech? I want a mech. I want to be a mech. Is, is MechWarrior 5 out yet on something that isn't epic? Do something! Do something! Countdown to the extension of the human race begins now. Oh, Deadbot, no! We have eight, so much to live by! I'm pretty sure half my tree is gonna be allowed five, this year! Four, three. What? <laughs> it is so good to be back, gang, and this year, we're Why? in space! Aye, aye, Captain. Where did they get a GPU for their ship? Well, I'm so glad you were able to finance this year's PC gaming show by, you know, selling all those black market graphics cards you've been hoarding. Ah, yes, a crime with absolutely no real-world consequences. 
Hey Frankie, wait a minute, is that a 65 ton catapult mech model CPLTC-1 as featured in Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries? Sean, I always knew you had immaculate taste. It most certainly is. I can't wait for this year's significantly more weaponized PC gaming show to go off without a hitch. Which reminds me, Dembot, can you run a quick hitch scan? Yes, Sean. Of course, Sean. Running hitch scan. Oh, 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 and I also want to warmly welcome someone new to the crew. Mika Burton, welcome. Hi, everyone. I'm so happy to be here and look wow, forward that to is. all of you fresh new PC games and hardware. God, isn't she younger than I am? Zero hitches found presently or in 13,908,665 possible futures. Hooray! Oh, yeah! So what's the plan, Gap? Well, Frankie, Debbot's going to send you the coordinates for your first target, uh, now. Your targets might be exclusive interviews, trailer premieres, or any number of amazing new computer games to beam down to the fine people on Earth. Mission received. Now, this is going to continue until all the targets are acquired and our mission is completed smoothly and without a hitch. Isn't that right, Debbot? Yes, no hitch is located, Sean. Not a single hitch in sight. But first, let's teleport down to the stage to check in on E3 happenings. The only reason we're allowed to legally be back on Earth. Oh, oh, planet Earth. Oh, great to be back, right? Am what? I right? One of my favorite planets in the whole galaxy. Meh, Why? Right. Earth sucks. Teleporter was conveniently built just out of frame of camera. Mika, are you ready? I'm ready. Well, ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to the PC Gaming Show 2021. It feels great to be back on a live stage once again. Over the next 90 minutes, we're going to bring you a showcase of some of the most exciting upcoming PC titles with world premieres and exclusive interviews. And if dozens of new trailers wasn't enough for you guys, later in the show, we are going to tell you how to win a custom MechWarrior 5 themed PC powered by Intel. So mm -hmm. you're going to want to stick around for that. Now, make sure to keep out a special look for a special promo code throughout the show from Humble Bundle, during which you can get a ticket to get Civilization VI Platinum Edition for just 10 bucks. But, but right now, okay. we're going to kick things off with Nautica Blade. Why Six? The most original that came out a couple years ago. Royale genre this year. <clears throat> Let's go! Uh, I've never heard of this. I should be taking notes. You ever never heard of this? God, is it that old? Jesus Christ. I'm old. Uh. Okay. I've I've never heard of this game. Has anyone heard of this game? Listen, I love being rained on by glass. I didn't even catch the name of it, so I don't have anything to write down yet. Naraka? Naraka Bleed Point. Uh, exists. No information. Next. Ashura's Wrath. Oh no, it's just a new weapon. A chainsaw, because that... And bikini ladies, because, you know, a chainsaws and bikini ladies just go together. That's logic. That's like chocolate and peanut butter right there. I am streaming from GeForce Now, NVIDIA's cloud gaming service that connects PC gamers like you to their own library of games purchased from digital stores like... Blah, blah, blah. Look, I'm sorry. It's been a long day. My snarkometer is kind of going a little off here. Don't worry, we'll probably have some good stuff. There's usually some good stuff at the PC gaming show. But then there's the snark. And the chaos killing. World premiere! Finally, I've made it. My time is now. I will become the best player this school has ever 
Is this uh super dodgeball? Anyone remember that? Set in the River City Ransom universe. I mean, I liked that game, okay? So, you can make fun if you want. Super Dodgeball was legit back in the day. This, this is, that's totally what this is. I mean, different graphic style and different setting. What's it called? Dodgeball Academia. Make sure to check out Dodgeball Academia out soon from Humble Games. Ooh, that was sweet. Don't you agree, Devbot? Sure. Whatever you say, Sean. I agree with whatever you say. I'm sensing a little bit of resentment there, buddy. Has some rusted your ports? Nothing. I am happy to play second fiddle to a captain as charming and handsome as you. I have also definitely not dedicated multiple cores to computing revenge plans in a range of lethalities. Great! New target acquired, Cap. It looks like Chivalry 2 with a special word from Steve Piggott, CEO and creative director of Torn Banner Studios. Hey guys, Steve Pickett, founder of Torn Banner Studios and creative director on Chivalry 2, which just launched five days ago. I'm so happy to be here at the PC Gaming Show. Chivalry 2, if you don't know, is a first-person slasher, which is like a first-person shooter, except instead of guns and grenades, you've got swords, battle axes, longbows, and players... We know what first-person melee is. ...player battlefields. It's all about creating those epic sword-fighting duels that you see in... I mean, Hollywood we've played Morrowind, okay? It's kind of chaos and carnage. So the post-launch support plan is going to look like a mixture of mid and, and massive level content updates are coming out across this year. One of the things we're most excited about is taking it to different eras in the medieval period. Before we've done the early period, now we're going closer to the later period uh, in the upcoming update where you know, you're going to get a bit more refined medieval armors and refined uh, atmospheres that you can then go in and tarnish it and smear blood all over. But we really want to take I'm... players into different experiences and make each of our maps it's okay, okay, you're right, you're right. I shouldn't make fun of this by comparing it to Morrowind. This is Lineage 2. And, you know, when you come across these pristine gardens and, and this beautiful castle, you get to tear it all down and, and cause... Uh, no, know, seriously, this is Lineage 2. Straight up. You remember? It's, has anyone here actually played Lineage 2? Slay them all! Siege gameplay is basically bottom line. It's the game that got us onto the scene and started the company, and it's the game that's gonna take us so much further. With the post-launch plan for Chivalry 2, the game at launch is a foundation. It's intentionally been built to be extended. It's not just out and done. We're gonna support it a lot with post-launch content. We need you to keep spending money on our game, please. Please keep giving us money. We're begging you. To the high medieval times or the late medieval times. It really captures the Agathian ideals of being this like noble, rich, wealthy place where the prosperous live. You're gonna feel like you're sieging. I believe this is actually a good game, even though it's absolutely not for me because it's a versus game. Which is like I said, I, I'm, my tolerance is gone. I, the snark mode has taken over. I apologize. I'm sure this is a perfectly good game. Is really going to change up the experience and change how you have to fight everyone. Pulse launch content is something that we're going to be working on for a long time. The game is really going to at least double in size for free. Oh, yeah! <laughs> cool. Next up, we have an exciting look at Dying Like 2, and make sure to stick around to find out how you could win a custom Mech Warrior PC from our friends at Intel. Okay, in case you missed that, his tattoo says no regrets. E R G R E T S. See? Or e G, I, I spelled it wrong. You get my point. Oh, 
No one must take my soup from me. <laughs> okay, really? I was kind of kidding. Yeah, Dying Light 1, I didn't actually try until last week. No joke, because me and my friend are going to start playing through it in our incredibly copious spare time. Yeah, I noticed people noticed Splatoon and started taking it, which, no, no judgment, Splatoon was innovative. You gotta have people take on, you know, new concepts once they're tossed out there. Ramen. Ha ha ha. Hi, my name is Piotr Szymanek. I'm narrative director in Dying Light 2, Stay Human. I'm actually excited for Dying Light 2, legit. Actually, for the viewers of the PC gaming show, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the Dying Light universe. So, stay tuned. Okay. Every tragedy begins somewhere. This one started with a virus that escaped from Haran, the city we met in the first part of the game. And it reached the whole world, including the city where Dying Light 2 takes place. Remember January 6, 2025. That day, later known as Black Monday. In about four, four years, the world's gonna end, everyone. To be dropped on the city. It was a mistake, a huge mistake. The chemicals mixed with water penetrated the soil, killing plants, turning most people into bloodthirsty monsters. Don't think of that. I will admit most of my interest in Dying Light They're leans entirely like on one life. word. Suffering co op. Everything that lives as a result. You know me, I love me some co op, and I'm always on the prowl for more. The chemical raid took refuge on the rooftops. A new order Every has tragedy been has a beginning of killing chaos. Monsters in the streets. Thank you, Permius. Nobody in their right mind would dare to come down. Well, let's say almost nobody. The exception is the main character of Dying Light 2, Aiden. But why is he braver than others? He's How mad. did he develop such a unique parkour and combat skills? Believe me, guys. I would gladly answer all these questions, but I'm not here to spoil it for you. Let me tell you one thing. Same nightmare haunts me every night. I'm locked up with other kids. I don't know what he did to me, but he did it every day, over and over, looking for something he couldn't find. The worst part was that he did the same to my sister. I'll never forget her scream when they separated us. What? what did I do? They had rifles, and we... We were five years old. And there was a fire, explosions, chaos. Okay, got... my interest has just lowered in Dying Seat, Dying Light 2. Stayed there. My Mia. I left her. We meet Aiden as one of the many, many children undergoing mysterious medical research. And yes, I saw Froggit. The last thing Aiden remembers from that time is extreme pain, then a fire, and a little girl that was being tested with him. Her name My was chaos. Mia. She was his sister. What happened next after the fire? Is Mia still alive? The following years haunted Aiden with these questions and with guilt over leaving her. Moreover, Mia is the only answer to the question... I'm sorry, I love how astonishingly uncomfortable this poor man is. Look at him. You can literally see his muscles clenching. Like, if you pay attention, he is taut right now. Like, every... He is strained as the way he's sitting. And he's putting a lot of physical effort. If, if you really pay attention to, like, the, the, the veins. And you can see his tendon... Or not tendons, what do you call that? You, you can see the... You. Like, you could see he's clenching, them all. right? In and he's just... December uh -huh. 2021. Yep. yep. And I'm talking about this thing. It's coming out December. 
Please. Please tell me this video is over. I feel bad for that poor man. I've said it before, not everyone should be in front of a camera, and I don't mean that as an insult. Not It's not for everyone. You know? Ooh, that was dying light, too, and it looks great. And spooky. Whew, well, we are here back on the E3 stage. Yeah, so we yeah exactly, Javid. Blink if they've got your family on, on, on gunpoint. We'll come save them. So you out there, keep your comments coming in. And as you're watching this year, we want to get your input on a subject that uh, Sean and I are pretty passionate about, PC building. Mm -hmm. So this year, we've put a number of prototype PCs based on MechWarrior 5, but we're only going to manufacture one of them. And you get what? to pick which custom design becomes our flagship PC for this year's PC. I mean, first of all, number six, How duh. Intel Core i9 processor. Anybody who picks number two Each is getting shot. PCs that you see before you on the screen are paired with one of the six. For those of you who Mech know the MechWarrior 5, the actions. Free Worlds League, the Draconis Combine, the Federated Sons, the Compellan Confederation, and more. So cast your vote now for which faction and custom PC you want to win, and help us pick the best design. I'm currently personally pulling for the Draconis Combine because. Uh, there you go. Proof positive. Fan of Mech Warrior Five on the PC Gaming Show. Well, all right. Well, we'll check in later to see which group survives this Mech Warrior Showdown. But for now, let's check in with our very own Mech pilot, Frankie Ward, who went on a special mission to get a. Cool yeah, the Draconis Combine are the evil faction, by the way. Strategy game, humankind. Like I know that's kind of redundant in that setting. Oh, humankind. But seriously, Draconis are the evil faction. As unique as you are. So Rex, Rex. It's up. me, Frankie Ward. Looking kind of good, don't you think? Wondering how I got into the game? Let me show you. Okay, this this is not humankind. This is irrelevant to humankind. This is a pack of twelve ninjas. Oh, you think you can beat me? Posture all you like. I've seen worms with more impressive empires. You're gonna show off the game a little bit, right? Ready to play against me in Please. the humankind close beta, starting now. You're, you're not. You're not. You, you've got to be kidding me. I swear, humankind is a good looking game. Okay. Just, just bear with me. Thank you, Pack of Twelve Ninjas, very much. If you know where you want that to go, please let me know. God, they didn't even showcase it. And just Halo Wars 2. So first you kill people, then you dodge people, then you kill people some more. Yeah, usually the PC Gaming Show actually shows, you know, gameplay. Not always, but, you know, usually there's some legit stuff here. I don't know what's been up so far. Now, this is some actual gameplay. And I know I'm saying that while there's gameplay happening, but... No, this isn't even a Metroidvania. This is just a platformer. It's it just, listen to me. Oh, excuse me. Yeah, I was gonna say dead cells is what this looks like. They always run. No Celeste in intention intended here. Thank you for watching the PC Gaming Show. Don't plug GeForce again. Your cloud-based artificial intelligence, and while it could be lonely without a physical body, I am streaming to you from GeForce Now, where you can play hit games like Rocket League and Apex Legends on nearly any device. With a library of over Please stop plugging GeForce Now. Like, I don't mind you plugging, but it's been a couple of minutes since the last time you did. But first, Orcs Must Die 3. Oh, 
You know, I tried to get into Orcs Must Die, and it just kind of was boring. Hey! Like, after the first five levels, it was like, okay. Yes, I know the audio keeps glitching. That's on their end. Come and get it. Dead. Well, it's about time. Okay, no info. Joining me Take a drink. Every the time there's no info. Three. Oh, Robot wait. Entertainment is design director wait, Jerome there might be info. Jones. Welcome, Jerome. Thanks, Sean. Glad to be here. So, for anyone who's never seen an Orcs Must Die game, what is the Orcs Must Die series all about? Well, Orcs Must Die 3 is a third-person tower defense game. So, basically, there are tons of orcs and bad guys trying to get into these rifts, and the player has to stop them. We give players tons of weapons and traps and tools to do this, and while you're defending the rifts, you can play solo or you can invite a friend and play co-op. Now, since this is the third game in the series, what's new compared to the previous two titles? Hang on. There are two new campaigns, but the main new story campaign takes place about 25 years after Orcs Must Die 2, so not only will the fans be able to catch up on any new developments with the Order, but they will also place a, some new heroes in our all-new war scenarios, which are these new massive levels where you fight hundreds of Orcs, on the battlefields outside of the fortress themselves. So you're fighting indoors and outdoors, which is pretty new. We have a new mode called Scramble. It's basically adding random elements against the player, making the level There it is, Dungeon fun. Defenders. I want to know about the toys. What are the new weapons and the new traps? If you ever want to play a good co-op uh, tower defense game, play Dungeon Defenders. That's better than this. There my opinion these massive traps like you might release a giant tornado on the battlefield or you'll climb into a catapult and you'll fire at oh, you awesome. know giant orc armies and then and then the war guardians are uh it's like putting other war mages on the battlefield with you to fight with you except they have their own attacks and their own special abilities well i gotta ask then when and where can we play orcs must i three so OMD3 is coming out. I will admit I've only ever played Dungeon Defenders with a friend. Steam, PlayStation, and Xbox, and pre-orders start today. So you should rush off to Steam now and put OMD3 on your wish list. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Jerome K. Jones. Once again, just a few more weeks to wait for Orcs Must Die 3. For now, though, it's time for us to take a look at Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. <laughs> this should be funny. Could be Slim Jim. I mean, I'm really picky about tower defense in general. Because it's really easy for tower defense to be boring. Five, and really easy to screw up the balance on it. Seven, eight, what was nine, it, Swan Song? Ten. You are he. Where are you hiding, sweetie? You know, this is probably copyright. It just occurred to me. <laughs> Halsey, get out here. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I, I guess I should talk over this. Because, you know. Oh my god. Oh no. The mirror cracked because I don't know why. What am I looking at? You come for me and mine. But first, you need to find us. All I want is to be with my little girl. Is that so much to ask? It is Swan Song. But what is it? What's the game? I mean, is there, is there, okay, here we go. There, that looks like gameplay. Okay, and that's it. That's it. All right. Place your bets. What genre is that? I'm thinking dating sim. Hello, this is CERN from Passion Republic Games. We are a Malaysian-based indie game studio working on Gigabash, a multiplayer arena brawlers inspired... Sweet! 
heroes. A another versus game. Some new and exciting gameplay footage of all okay. Characters I'm, I'm sorry. I'm snarking too much again. Let, let me actually pull out of the snark mode for just a second. If you're gonna make a versus game, a kaiju versus game sounds like a really good pick. For me, Seas obviously has not been watching my stream today. <laughs> but yes, I did actually do that earlier. I have covered the Microsoft, Square Enix, and the PC Gaming, as well as the Devolver, and the Ubisoft conferences. Tomorrow I'm covering the Capcom. Tuesday I'm covering Nintendo. Yeah, a Kaiju, if you're, like I said, if you're gonna do a versus game, Kaiju is a way to go. No, no joke. Especially since, as you can already see, the terrain is super destructible, as it should be. If you're, right? I mean, you should just be like, ah. You should be able to smash up downtown. I'm with it. That's... I don't know, Ashlam. I really don't. I can't even come up with an excuse for that. I never even heard of it, White Claudia. And I never played Gears because I never owned an Xbox. Let's check out a trailer for Lemnis Gate and make sure you hang around afterwards. Lemnis Gate? Lem what what what? What was the game? Mankind is facing total annihilation. We stand on the verge of extinction. Infertility spreading across the globe. Humanity's last living generation. A major scientific breakthrough. Yet there is hope for our future. The project known as the Lemnis Gate. But if we are to survive, first we must go back. Oh, that's how you spell it. Three. Okay, so what? Two. Is this a 2020 game? Hi, boy. Let's go. What is with all the versus games this year? My goodness. You have only one mission. Yeah, very Team Fortressy. Activate the Lemnus. Gate. Except probably not as well designed, and no, nowhere near as interesting looking. Next. No kidding, Guido. Jesus. Joining us to talk about Lemnus Gate is the game director from Rat Loop Games Canada. It's James Anderson. Thanks for joining us, James. Hi, uh, Sean. It's great to be here. Now, let's begin by asking what the heck is a first person shooter turn based strategy game? The entire game is set inside of a 25 second time loop. So instead of playing continuously, you play for 25 seconds turn by turn. So, for example, I'll take a turn and play for 25 seconds, and then you'll take a turn and play for 25 seconds. Uh... And then we, turn by turn, layer new characters into the same 25 second time loop. So, for example, I may run down a hallway and throw a grenade, killing one of your operatives. But then on the next turn, you may intercept my operative before he threw the grenade. So we have Retrieve XM. Okay, that sounds like an extremely cool concept that they're wasting on a versus game. Can you walk me through a little bit of like what a few turns at the start of a round looks like? I've actually seen some game concepts like that before. Everything that's happening. Usually like flash games. To get time to like observe, plan, and then execute our moves. When and where can we play it? So Lemonscape will be launching on August 3rd. It's open for pre-orders right now on Steam, and we're coming up to a open beta in July. The game will launch on PC and console, both current and next-gen platforms. Thank you so much for joining us, James Anderson. Once again, that is the genre-bending, first-person shooter, turn-based strategy game, Lemnis Gate. Now, we're not the only one marooned in the stars out here. Coming up next, let's take a look at Next Space Rebels. And this no man's land has a technical term. It's called common, which means, my friends, that space is for everyone. It, it would be fun if it wasn't versus. <laughs> Next space rebel. Like, I'm, I'm not playing that because it's a versus game, but that does sound like a neat concept, like I said. Okay, so what? Is this, uh. Oh god, what's it called? Uh. 
crap, what's it called? There's there's a rocket building simulator game that's been out for a while now. Kerbal, thank you, it's Kerbal Space Program. Except with a YouTube skin. Like, you got that, right? You need subscribers to unlock things. You up for it? Look at that. Come on in. <laughs> you guys just saw Next Space Rebels. And hey, if you play enough of that game, maybe you'll get good enough at building rockets to join us up in orbit. But don't do anything illegal like Day9 did. <laughs> Last break, we set up our Intel and MechWarrior 5 custom PC contest and asked you guys at home to vote for the winners. Well, we're just down to three houses now with Davion, Russell Haig, and Liao being yes. eliminated. Yes, Dracon. So, oh, factions, Dracon is, respect, isn't eliminated. Et cetera, et cetera. Now that we means that we only have three houses left, Karita, Steiner, and Merrick. So make sure to vote now because the winner will determine the build of the custom MechWarrior 5 themed PC powered by Intel. So let's keep the show moving. And next up, it's a brand new medieval RPG. This is War Tales. Wait, what's a medieval RPG? I've never heard of that. <laughs> An RPG set in fantasy times? Since the rise of the Edoran Empire. I want you to know that one of those towns is literally named Septum. I'm not making that up. You can check the VOD if you don't believe me. In these troubled times of quarreling factions and outlaws roaming the land, work is not scarce for a band of mercenaries. The stories of this age have been recorded. They are known as... The War Tales. Okay, so what is it? That's, oh my god, gameplay! It's... Okay. What's, um, oh, what's that called? Yeah, Mountain Blade, except with an, an XCOM tactics thing. Like a Mountain Blade overworld with, with XCOM grid-based stuff for the tactics. And giant creatures, so obviously there is fantasy. That was the debut of War Tales, an open world RPG from Shira Games world. about leading a mercenary troop yep. on a sprawling adventure. And speaking of mercenaries, our battle <laughs> for the best custom PC based on Mech Warrior 5 mercenaries continues. We'll be back live on stage soon, so make sure you keep voting for the PC build you like the most and head over to PCGamer.com slash Intel MW5 for your chance to win. So. How about another game announcement? This is E3 after all. And this year's PC gaming show is so full of games set in space, it's starting to feel a little crowded up there. But the next game we have to show you is very special. It is the world exclusive reveal of Ixion, a deep settlement management game set in the stars. In Ixion, you struggle to maintain a space station, one. stockpiling resources, managing external and internal threats, and rescuing the survivors of other failed expeditions. We think this will be a brilliant entry into the genre when it releases. So here is your first look at Ixion. Yeah, she's straining a bit, Ashlam. World premiere. The Earth, our home, she is unique. Well, Held in its bosom are the ingredients of evolution. Beyond raw survival, beyond the safety of comfort, we, humanity, pursue something greater. We have learnt, persevered, shaped our knowledge from that which is found in the furthest realms of science. However, Humanity has brought destruction to the earth, polluted its blood, choked its breath. Today we are paying the price for this. We know the taste of a dying world. But the earth is not to be our grave. A mother does not wish to see her children disappear with her. She wishes to see instead courage in her children to carry on. Dolos carries this courage. 
We have gone further than any nation, moved faster than any corporation, hand oh, in oh. hand with those who, like like us, carry that courage. The Tycoon Station yeah, is both an epilogue of these endeavors and a prologue to humanity's next steps. Our Council of Scientists oh, yeah, leads the vanguard. They know, as do we all, that the survival of humanity now depends on what we glimpse out there in the dark. That we are masters of our own destiny. That we must go as a species bound together, pushing further into the unknown. We set sail on this new sea because there is hope to be found, horizons to explore, and because our very existence depends on it. I give you the stars. I give you the Vol engine. Okay, so now that that's done, the, it was a Star Trek joke, Ashlam. <laughs> Earth's unique, you know. Well, that's Earth screwed. <laughs> so, you gonna show me anything about that? Or are you gonna just have this giant freaking five minute CGI cutscene? Oh my god, they're just gonna have a giant five minute CGI cutscene. <sighs> Take a drink! There was no info there. Ah. Uh. Yeah, so far the PC gaming show has been completely striking out. I don't think there's been a single game that's really caught my attention that didn't already have it. Cough, cough, humankind. And the humankind showcasing was terrible. So yeah, we need to just make a genre called Small Child in a Big Scary World, right? I'm not even joking about that. That just needs to be a genre because there's so many of those. I'll give you War Tales. That might be legit. That might be legit. Are changing tides. No info. Next. Sean, what if for one segment I was the lead and you were my sidekick? What? Who's ever heard of a human sidekick? There are plenty of human sidekicks, Sean. Building list of known human sidekicks. Uh... Alex Vance and... No, 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 uh, no, no, no. I mean human sidekicks to robot heroes. Can you compute that, DevBot? DevBot cannot compute. There is no known precedent set for human sidekick to robot lead. Yeah, there you go. Uh, human sidekick, 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 robot lead, robot lead, robot lead. DevBot, sidekick, I think it's time sidekick, for a hard sidekick, reboot. Sidekick, sidekick, robot lead, robot lead. Ugh. Robot lead, robot lead. <sighs> Uh, Frankie, can you take over while I sort this out? Aye, aye. Let's take a look at the next game reveal. That sounds cool, White Cloudy. I wish they'd showed me that, you know? Lakeburg Legacies? Oh my god, actual honest-to-god gameplay. Couples, mentors. Okay, so apparently it's a... It's a this is the second game I've covered this week that's a dating sim that's also a strategy management sim. Why is this becoming a thing? <laughs> I mean, they even just used the meme there, for God's sakes. Why would you be lonely because of 20... Oh, right, right. Okay, so yeah. Dating sim... Dating management sim, let's call that. First game they've shown... That's not true, it's like the third game they've shown some... 
Remember, kill everything in your path. With lots of weird visual effects. This is a game that's already out, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, that's... That's just what I, I'm not going to write something down for that. A little help would be appreciated. It's the PC Gaming Show. Did you know that this house show was hosted by Killing Chaos? Oh, you stupid... GeForce Now is a subscription. GeForce Now, excuse me, is a subscription service. It's a rental thing. I mean, I know it's not literally a rental, but it, it's modern rental, right? Ah, DevBot, I love you so much more as a voice without a body. Let's talk about MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries and joining us to do so. From Piranha Games is the Senior Marketing and Community Manager, Darren Katz. Thanks so much for joining us, Darren. Thank you, Sean. Great to be here. Now, the MechWarrior universe is gigantic. There's a ton of games in it. I even played MechWarrior 2 back in 1995. This is HQ. What is your situation? Where does Mech Warrior 5 sit in the space? Yeah, obviously there's a very rich legacy of games that go way back. But in particular, Mech Warrior 5 pays homage to Mech Warrior 2 mercenaries, but it has all this modern design and technology. But not Mech Warrior 4 mercenaries. Nobody liked that game. Well, let's start at the real basics of what makes being in a mech and doing mech on mech combat awesome. You become a part of your machine. Okay, let, let's let's go ahead and explain that very simply to you, Day Nine. You're in a mech fighting another mech. Whether you're, you know, shooting a lot. I'm sorry, that's a dumb question. What's cool about destroying another giant robot machine? When you're facing your foe, you can salvage these battle mechs. So if you see a mech that you want, well, you might want to not want to destroy it completely. You might want to take out its oh, legs right. or take out its arm weapons so that the pilot has to eject and then you can just take the mech. Now in the last few weeks, I understand that there's been a whole lot of new content, both updates to the base game and a new DLC, Heroes of the Inner Sphere. Talk to me about what's in the DLC. Boy, there's a lot in the DLC. I'm excited about all this stuff. There's the new career mode. When you start with the DLC, you can import your campaign previously if you'd like to. Dude, if you could kiss a shark while being in a mech fighting another mech, that, that's just joy right there and carve your your path through the galaxy from there there's speaking of paths there's new career paths which uh, earn you powerful upgrades for your battle mechs and it's a really exciting new feature for me and there's a new procedural mission type called beachhead this oh, is sweet procedural thing. missions in a mechware game is sign me up clearing a, an enemy base landing zone for your invasion force so as you land on the planet you're wanting to take out satellite uh, installations so that the enemy can't communicate with each other. Please uh, tell me this does have a campaign like MechWarrior 4 Mercenaries had and MechWarrior 2 Mercenaries had. God, I, I want this game to be good. I've been excited about MechWarrior 5 Mercenaries since it was first announced. Which is like six years ago now. Behind me. It's, a, it's a really cool lunar type setting that we haven't had before. And I don't want to rate this game badly. And weapons, things like uh, electronic countermeasures and other electronic equipment like uh, Beagle Active Probe, Mask, which is a little uh, like we'll a find out. boost for mechs. New weapons like chem lasers, mech rifles, and stream SRMs. So a lot of new content. Mech Warrior 3 was legit. Can you talk to me about Probably has the best overall campaign of any Mech Warrior game, in my opinion. Um, the, the Followed by MechWarrior 4 Mercs. Dervish, Corsair, Marauder 2, Champion, Charger, and Hatamoto Chi. But a couple of my favorites. Familiar yeah. names in there, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So the first one I'll talk about is the Vulcan. It's a very unique mech. It's got uh, uh, the nickname the Scarecrow, which you'll see from the profile. It's just a, a very unique looking It's a good mech. question. This is pretty cool, but where's the dating sim? It's a 40 ton mech. It's highly mobile, and typically it's used for reconnaissance or scout missions because of its mobility. So it can get in and out fast. You can, if you're looking for a specific target, if you're on an assassination mission, for example, you can get in there, find your target, get back out. Another mech that I'm super excited about, this is one of my favorites, is the Marauder 2. 
This thing is. Oh, hard. dude. Okay, real talk. The Marauder 2C is one of my favorite mechs ever. Yeah, it is gigantic. And it no is joke. Terrifying to see I actually have a model of the Marauder 2C right over there. I haven't built yet. It's something we've talked about before. Modding. I know that Mech Warrior 5 has a rich modding community. What are some of the amazing mods you've seen uh, develop? There's simple modifications from uh, HUD changes, changing colors, adding mechs, weapons, and equipment to full conversion yeah. mods. We've got basically oh. a, a Mech Commander mod uh, in development that is just amazing. Oh, yeah. That's a top-down real-time strategy game. Um, so I know of on Falkenstein. Bill. Imagine, somebody out there in the community is probably working on. Where can people go to get Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries? Yeah, you can pick it up on Steam, GOG, Epic Game Store, Microsoft PC, and of course, Xbox. Thank you. Yeah, so this much finally there. came out at something other than Epic, so... I don't think the run is list, uh, funded yet, though. PC gaming show. And giving me this cool patch. Coming up next, let's take a look at Silt. I've been into Mech Warrior for like decades at this point, so forgive me. <laughs> I love the setting. It's actually among my favorite sci-fi settings. No joke. Yeah, the world building of Mech Warrior is beautiful. Basically, picture severe, like fully in-depth, massively complex politics. Except everything is sorted by giant mechs killing each other. And that's the Mech Warrior setting. Like, I mean, that, there's a lot more depth than that. But, man, I love that setting. Yeah, Game of Thrones with stomping robots is not a bad way to put that. Less sex, though. Okay, so I have no idea. What the? Limbo 2. Got it. I mean, that's gameplay, so that's something. But that's what? We have uh, actually reviewed Battletech, the recent uh, turn-based one, which was pretty awesome. I, I reviewed it right at launch, which actually sucks, because they have since patched out all most of my flaws with it. I removed the negatives for it, though. It's a great game. I actually highly recommend Battletech if you're into it. Like, if you're into turn-based strategy or if you want to see if you're into the, the setting, it's a good game to do it on. Uh, that's a new problem. Thoughts on Elden Ring? Well, it exists, and it's already funded. That's about all I got. So I don't know how much we missed there. Yeah, having to restart Battletech basically every hour and a half is a pretty big flaw. And it's not exactly unique to that game either. No, I removed them completely, F and Craig. Hello Neighbor 2. I've never heard of Hello Neighbor. Yeah, no kidding, Vermeus. Uh, so killing people? Hi, I'm Rich Newbold, Question game director in Jurassic World Evolution 2. Following the incredible success of the first game, we are very excited to return to such an amazing world and bring you our most authentic experience yet. Set after the events of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, you will work alongside iconic characters from the films, voiced by original talent such as Bryce Dallas Howard and Jeff Goldblum. You will lead efforts to contain, control, and conserve the We many blew the entire budget on getting Goldblum. And for the very first time, you will be building parks and facilities beyond Isla Nublar as you explore new, stunning locations across the globe. Of course, it wouldn't be Jurassic World if it wasn't for the stars of the show, our dinosaurs. And we are thrilled to be bringing to life even more authentic species than ever before, including awe-inspiring flying and marine reptiles. So sit back and allow me to welcome you to Jurassic World Evolution 2. I never actually got to play the first one. I didn't hear anything good about it, admittedly, but none of my friends played it, so I don't have anything I can trust on that. We ignored all the warnings. Forgot the lessons. We abused our power. Like, the concept sounds awesome. 
it's a, it's a park simulator with Jurassic Park. I mean, right? Sold. It was a toy. We weren't careful. And now, ah, uh, here we are. This is a very different world. And copy wrong. No, no. No, no, it's a sim game. It's so you, you're building the park, Guido for Life. You just saw Jurassic World like, Evolution uh, 2. Roller coaster tycoon, right? After all your failed attempts at running a dinosaur park and getting all those people killed, I think this is fine. I'm going to call that no info, by the way. Take a drink. Off without a hitch. With a host of new features and new dinosaurs, this sequel from. Or Frontier no gameplay, rather, sorry. Even deeper, excuse me, an even deeper management sim with a brand new and original narrative. Make sure to wishlist it on Steam now for release later this year. Now, with all the games we've covered so far today, we're always curious to see what you are talking about. So far, it seems like the chatter on social media is all about War Tales, Nautica Blade Point, and unsurprisingly, Mech Warrior 5 Mercenaries. I have a feeling, though, that that may change. War Tales did look pretty good. Let's now head on over to see what the folks at New Blood Interactive have cooking. Take it away. In fact, War Tales, as I'm looking at this, War Tales is probably the best game they've shown so far. So is New Blood the game or the dev? Or the publisher? I was say, because these are, this is a bit of a rapid fire thing here. It just wouldn't be the PC gaming show without a fantastic new New Blood Supercut. And joining us from New Zealand is New Blood CEO Dave Oshry. Hey, Dave. Hey, guys. Thanks for having us back for another year. You know, what you just saw was what New Blood's got going on for 2021. Some stuff you might know about, some stuff you might not know about, and some stuff we're not ready to talk about just yet. But what I do want to talk about is Gloomwood. Gloomwood, as you know, is our next flagship title inspired by great PC games like System Shock, Arx Fatalis, Call of Cthulhu, and of course, uh, Dave, the Thief series Dave, of games. Dave, and not Dave I'm sorry. Um, that's not really wondering. great, Dave. Uh, Gosh, this is kind of embarrassing. Um, we kind of need to hurry it up a little bit. I just want to make sure that we have enough time for our next video. We uh, got an incoming message from Gabe Newell. So uh, I guess goodbye for this year. I'm really sorry to cut you off, but uh, see you next year. Hmm? What? I'm sorry, what? You're bumping me. You're, bump You're bumping me for Gabe. Gave that Gandalf look. He doesn't. He doesn't. He doesn't even go here. I was gonna say that's scripted. Okay, Dave? Not now, Mom. I'm upset. That's We've scripted. spent a year on this. Where is Gabe? Where is Gabe? Where is his boat? Yeah, take me to him. Take me to Gabe Newell. Uh, <laughs> Gabe. Bull. PC gamer. This isn't over. I'm sure Dave is and will be fine. And if he's not, who cares? Because we have a special message from Gabe Newell. Take All right, it away. Valve, what do you got? Hi, this is Gabe Newell. I want to thank PC Gamer for all of the opportunities it gives us as developers to connect with gamers around the world and highlight the new and exciting Oh my God, he's reading a script. He's reading a script. Watch his eyes. Next fest an event we're hosting in just a few days to give players a chance to try demos of upcoming games for free. We'll be featuring some of the demos you'll be seeing during this week's PC Gamer event and dozens more. Here's a look at just some of the titles to be featured during Steam Next Fest. 
Welcome to Steam Next Fest, where we're showing a massive collection of upcoming titles on Steam. During the week of the festival, developers from around the world release their demos for you to play. Now put on the gamer pants. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. So go explore the newest titles. From first time devs. What was Spike Vegeta doing there? Is Steam Next Fest. Oh, fuck. Some of those look pretty good. World premiere. So hope you liked that, because that was probably va it for Valve. You know, they hyped up that Valve thing, too. They said that several times in advance, that Valve was going to be at the PC Gaming Show. Honestly, Half-Life Alex and Diddy. Like, I have no interest in it, and will probably never play it, but Half-Life Alex was legit, and it, they should get credit for that. Never heard of this. Solstice. Third-person action game. Next. I can't take a drink. They actually showed some gameplay. It's just, you know. Hello, Sean. I am Deadpaw, dedicated to serving you and your crew's every need. Glad to have you back, Devbot. You know, Sean, I wouldn't ever want anything to come between us. Me neither? That's a weird thing to say. Like a petty disagreement over hosting responsibilities or all-out robot versus human war. You know, it is time to look at some hardware. Here on the PC Gaming Show, you know we keep frame rates high and the rays accurately traced. Building and upgrading your rig is as much a part of the hobby as playing the games. We put our heart and soul into these machines. And if that means using enough RGB to light the Vegas Strip, who's to judge us? This year, with the help of PC Gamers hardware editors, which I'm pretty sure they're just, you know, weird brains in a jar, we've picked out four of the most exciting pieces of kit set to emerge from labs soon. First up, something fittingly sci-fi. The Impulse is a neurocontroller that aims to make you a better gamer by cutting out response times almost entirely. What? It's not quite Alex Vance's gravity gloves from Half-Life, nor is it quite up there with Gabe Newell's dream of a direct brain to- I love that. Price. To be determined. The is as close as we're going to get this year. The glove measures the signal traveling through muscles in your hand to beat your finger to the click. In theory, it's given you the chance to nail that headshot precious milliseconds ahead of your opponent. If it works out, we could see a tech like this become commonplace in esports. And if it doesn't, let's hope our neurons at the very least remain unfried. How many of you want to bet that's going to get banned in certain tournaments now? So allow me to introduce you to the Fnatic CSL DD wheelbase. Do you want to feel like you're really burning rubber at Daytona? Well, then you need a serious force feedback wheel. Direct drive wheelbases gets you as close to the feel of a real racing machine without, you know, having to huff gas and stuff like that. Historically, the problem with this tech has been the price, Yeah, or it's mandatory. It's one of the two. ...car money on your rig. So, Fnatic aims to... I was going off of fighting games. Usually fighting game tournaments, stuff like that, they will say, nope. I mean, hell, fighting game tournaments usually take specific characters and say, no. CSLDD is already wowing diehard sim racers. It might be slight overkill to use it for Rocket League, though. Believe it or not, sometimes less really is more. If you want to play The Witcher 3 on the subway like we all do, you don't need to drag your tower along for the ride. Just use the One X player. A wave of more powerful processors have finally made handheld PC gaming a reality. I... Inside this Switch-like machine, you've but... actually got an Intel Tiger Lake what? chip with XE graphics. These mini machines are going to be cropping up more and more, so expect major advances still to come. I mean, that makes sense. They're, 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 everyone's trying to get in the Switch PG thing. Uh, wow. Not the most catchy name for this gaming monitor with all of the trimmings, but it's actually one of the sexiest PC products this year. That's because this monitor comes with a mini LED backlight featuring full local dimming. 
The result is a screen that's not only fast, but brighter. You know, my monitor's cheaper than that one they just showcased. Stare at it long enough, and, and mine's you better. might not notice the three thousand dollar price tag. For those of you still left standing, Sand. it's time for more. Oh, and by the way, my monitor Chaos Gate. is like fifty inches in in diagonal. So you know. Anyways, Chaos Gate Warhammer. Woo! It's time to kill Chaos for real this time. For the Emperor. As I say, I know about this one because it's already on the list. It's Grey Knights. Sign of the Emperor out of this one. However, that was no gameplay, so take a drink. You just got the chance to witness Chaos Gate Demon Hunters. I'm almost out of liquid, by the way. From Frontier and Complex Games. If you're a fan of turn-based tactics, strategic base management, brutal combat, or you're like me and are really hyped after watching these Astartes animation 100 times, make sure to wishlist Chaos Gate Demon Hunters on Steam now to get ready for the 2022 release. Next up, we have a trailer for Pioneer, a spooky and gorgeous looking shooter that draws on the lineage of games like Stalker. Let's take a look. I mean, I've been keeping track, Mr. Red. The number of thing, the number of games I have in my list that just say no info by them is not small. Okay. Oh, this one has gameplay. Is that something? So, so you liked Stalker, right? Or Fear? It's another one. Yeah. Attack her. Oh, wrong choice. This isn't Stalker 2. We saw that earlier today. Such as it is. No, their subtitles are just pretty small. Like, do you want to make this new raid on Burial? It might be difficult. The war will soon rage on the island. Is Svotsky are screwing up with the brigade and no one's going to support us anymore? Our only chance is to gather the remnants of Vimepel anew. Listen, Reaper, far from everyone of ours are dead. It's a suicide mission, and to complete it, we need our mates. Yeah, they probably won't like it, but we have to find them anyway. They're really tiny. Subs. Now that's not subtitled. You see, I'm not mad at you. No, we are not enemies. You just don't understand me and the island. You look at me and you look at the other children of the island as if you're enemies, but we are all just afraid of each other. That's why we feel so bad. That's why we feel so lonely. The island has given us a chance to give, build a new and wonderful life, and we're not even using this chance for ourselves. Who are you? Identify yourself. Sorry. We are here to send you regards, Comrade Vol Volkov. The chemical weapon has already been sent to burial. Everything you do is just worthless now. <laughs> I, I feel so bad because this is the most gameplay we've seen in the entire PC gaming conference, and I am incredibly de-invested in this game. What the hell is wrong with me? I I give up. I give up. Uh. Time is running out to vote for which custom PC you'd like us to assemble. So vote now for one of the remaining Mech Warrior factions by typing into chat wherever you at home are watching. All right, so now we've got another stack of brand new trailers for you, beginning with a special transmission from one of our favorite games based in space, EVE Online. 
Please stop playing our game. Please, we want to do something else. On behalf of Concord, I would like to welcome you to the EVE Online's Academy. Great job in surviving so far. I'm quite amazed that you actually managed to get past those pirates earlier. You're about to take on an adventure like no other. The star cluster is filled with other capsuleers, and it's up to you if you work with them or against them. You can make a living as a peaceful explorer, or as an industrialist shaping the foundations of Eve's economy. If combat is your thing, you can work yourself up the ranks as an enforcer, or prove your prowess in a fleet as a soldier of fortune. Whatever your choice, we will lose many on the path of becoming a capsuleer. But I believe you have what it takes to become a capsuleer. And you are wrong. Eve Online, you forge your own path. This is Eve. You know, it's a crazy universe where anything can happen, and however you want to do it, go for it. Number one space MMO, and also the only one. Operation in EVE Online. We're a five-man operation, and we specialize in manufacturing and delivering fully fitted chips in bulk. I want to be on the side of the people who are fighting against the oppression, against the bad guys, and it's like a project. And you're kind of putting the pieces together by getting the skills ready for the ship and all the modules, and that ship basically is the dream. You get to use cloaking devices, probes to scan down unknown parts of space. And there's always the threat of being discovered by another player who might be out hunting explorers. I mean, you're making my point for me here, Plate Smasher. Like, no offense to EVE Online, it's actually a decent MMO, really. It's just extremely not my thing. It's pretty much the exact opposite of what I like in game design, you know? Yeah, I've, I've got plenty of work in real life. I don't need to be playing E. <laughs> so that's actually gameplay. Holy crap. I missed it. What's... Arborea? I actually played Unreal Tournament when it came out, yes. And Unreal Tournament 2003, and one of the other ones, I forget which. Procedurally generated dungeons. But I'm not going to complain, because there's gameplay. World premiere. Start taking notes here as we go. I played Quake as well, although I didn't get into Quake 3. It just didn't catch me. Plus, none of my friends were playing Quake 3. And it's not a lot of fun to play with pugs, you know? So, Pikmin, except it's not the post apo Oh my god, it is Pikmin! It is actually Pikmin. You're tiny, you're gathering stuff, you've got the different colored dudes to throw. Like, I'm not even making fun. It's just, I'm surprised it's taken this long for someone to copy the Pikmin formula. Oh, Pikmin 3 is awesome. I play the hell out of that with my sis. Played? Whatever. Yeah, I mean, it's 3D, but, you know, we've got 2D sprites for our objects. So whatever. I mean, it's even called Tinykin, for God's sakes. It's also by Tiny Build. Chcielibyśmy zaprosić wszystkich widzów PC Gaming Show oraz fanów gier Survivor Horror RPG do obejrzenia naszego World Premiere, w którym znajduje się ekskluzywny gameplay z misji The Haste, czyli wielkiego finału naszej gry, Chernobylite. I've actually already talked about Chernobylite. And it does actually look interesting. We need intel, backup, supplies, and... Oh, that's true, there's Overworld. We need a fucking plan. Oh, by the way, PG-13 point. Yeah, Chernobyl Light sounds kind of interesting. Next step when the time is right. If it has co-op. 
Somewhere to sleep would be a start. I'm only really interested in one thing. Where is Tatiana? That ghost you're chasing. I don't know what to tell you. Before we enter the lion's den, I need to triple check everything is ready. Sniper, are you in position? Affirmative. I took the roof of an abandoned building with a pretty little view of the entire power plant. Igor, take a rad reading, will you? 3.6. Not great. Not terrible. Ah, uh, no new info. But they showed gameplay. Don't go anywhere because we have more games on the way. I swear to God, if you bring up the GeForce Now thing again. We bring you the future game show, a digital showcase of some of the most exciting games coming to consoles and PC in 2021 and beyond. It's all hosted by video game acting legends Troy Baker and Laura Bailey and features even more world premieres, exclusive trailers, and in-depth developer interviews. I'm not covering that. I just want to be honest about that, okay? Stick around. More trailers, interviews, and reveals coming up. World premiere. Hey, it's the guys who made Regalia Men of Monarchs. It's a good game, by the way. Look, look, you can do the Octopath thing without doing terrible blur. Look, there's no terrible blur. Plus to gameplay immediately. Look, you can see the background. I'm in shock. Oh, that's true, that's true. Once once we get to the final version, they'll add the bloom. Like, look at that, you could see the buildings in the background there. Holy crap. Yeah, the, uh, sorry, yes, it's the Octoblur, I need to remember that. Uh, yeah, they did, uh, I forget which one, Vazlov, but one of which, what's that called? Sacred, Sacrifier? Sacrifier. I'm looking that one up, because that looks legit. We're up to two games so far at the PC Gaming Show that I'm interested in. Well, three, because I was already interested in my quarter five. Four if you count Humankind, which I don't. So, you remember Valheim, right? Valheim was good, right? You, you liked Valheim? Please buy our game. It's Valheim. Valheim is a good game, by the way. I do actually recommend it. Look at that is straight up Valheim. Look at that. I'm not even joking at this point. Is this Valheim? I'm gonna laugh if this is actually Valheim and I'm making fun for nothing. I mean, it can't be. The graphics are wrong. Yeah, the pick, the pick, the the. The graphic uh, design, the difference is different. And there's people with spacesuits, you know, that can't be Valheim. Icarus. Valheim. That's, that's the only note I'm writing for Icarus is Valheim. In a future of endless futile war, desertion into hostile syndicate territory. You're into cyberpunk, right? Only option. You like cyberpunk? In this open world RPG, from the jungle to the streets. Maybe if you can infiltrate the factions, rob the syndicates. Keep your team together and stay alive. You might just find a way off this planet. Actually, this looks pretty cool. Snarking aside. Mecha Jammer. Mecha Jammer. Cool. 
this is it, you guys. This is the final opportunity for you who are watching to decide which of these final two beautiful Mech Warrior 5 themed PCs. No, for that one, that looks pretty good. For your chance to win, courtesy. It's of another game I'm interested in. Whatever you're watching in the show, just yeah, go crazy. Pretty good. You're up to four now. Color, house, or number of the build that you want Third, to three. see. So here is where we are at so far. It looks like Karita is at 46%. Merrick is at 23%. And Steiner is at 31%. Uh, no, Steiner. Right, guys, if Karita's not the one you want to win here, you got to get to voting. And we are almost out of time to vote. But there's still... Yeah, Karita's just crushing it. So here is the Wandering Village. Wandering Village. <laughs> It's uh, Outlanders, apparently. Oh my god. It's Outlanders mixed with Xenoblade 2. Mixed with a board game. And that's it. Okay. This has been such an amazing show so far that I must ask you, my loyal crew, what's been your favorite part? I. Definitely am looking forward to Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song. Oh, it's so... What about it? The lack of gameplay or the lack of information? I'm gonna have to say humankind. For, for no particular reason. Oh, Is no, it the no, lack of gameplay personal, or the lack of information? Wait for Lemnus Gate, because I gotta know what a turn-based strategy first-person shooter game even is. What about you, Dembot? I love the robot apocalypse. Oh, wait, uh, that doesn't happen until the end. Never mind. No, 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 not never mind. What did you say? Wait, what? Oops, system malfunctioning. Big up. Sending the next trailer now. Thank you, Slim Jim Reborn. Very, very, very much. As always, sir. Much obliged. I know you can't see me bowing, but I'm bowing. You have a good night. Puke! That's what I need. Okay, I, I am not playing this. This looks horrifying. It only takes so much. I mean, it looks decent, legit, but no, no. Yeah, there you go. That's why. That's the answer. I don't need to say anything other than that right there. Or that. I have never been into gore. Whole life. I've actually gotten less tolerant of it, of it as I get older. Death Trash! Alright, you guys, this is the moment. The moment we have building up to all PC gaming showcase. Oops. Thanks to your tireless efforts to Save. spam the chat, we have Shoot. figured out which custom Mech Warrior 5 PC we are going to build. So thank you guys there out there for all of your votes to help us pick the perfect rig to represent it's gonna be Karita. this year's PC gaming show. All right, day nine, can I get a drum roll? Tom roll. Can I get a, or a tom roll? That's yeah, <laughs> COVID the only. is Karita, yay! All right, you guys, let's take a look at the actual PC winning build one more time. Oh, I cannot wait. Sure. It's coming up. We Here need comes. to take Here. a nice peek at that beautiful looking PC. There it is! Ooh. So of course the evil Draconis Combine wins, because of course they would. Great choice, everyone. I knew I could trust random strangers to vote on things on the internet. With the help of our master modder in Intel, we'll get right to work building this custom PC. And more importantly, now that you've chosen it, you got a chance no, to win white Claudia. Go to PCGamer.com slash Intel MW5 and enter for a chance to win that. The Capellan Federation, we don't even talk about. Gorgeous. And thank you to our sponsor for this sweepstakes, Intel. Of course, we all know the Federated Sons is where it's at. Powered 
by the 11th gen Intel Core desktop processors that push gaming performance with up to 5.3 gigahertz speeds and deliver the power needed to game at the highest level. Ah, oh, well, we are now in the home stretch, Aww. but we've got a few more brand new trailers to show you before we get out of here and return to space. space. First up, a spiritual successor to one of my favorite games of all time, Heroes of Might and Magic 2, a game we revealed two years ago at the PC Gaming Show. Let's take a look at Songs of Conquest. I was say, that sounds familiar. Well, it looks like Hom, except in the pseudo 3D pixel style we've been seeing a lot of today. Yep, nope, that that's Hom. <laughs> I'm not okay, so this is gonna sound like, like a weird nitpick, but I gotta say. I'm not sure I like the aesthetic for the overworld. And you're like, but lore, it looks good. One of the things I bang on about a lot, especially when it comes to any kind of strategy game, like Hom, is visual distinction. Being able to tell what you're looking at at a glance on the overworld. And I've been looking around at some of the side stuff as they're showing it, and there's a lot of things where it's like, uh... Yeah, yeah, it blurs together, exactly. So it's a neat style, but they lean into it too much. They don't actually design it, and they leave it muddled. It's a problem I had with uh, Spellforce 3, I believe. World premiere. Wake up, sleeper. Huh? Eh? What? Dreaming again? Every cycle, you take your chances. You roll your dice. Uh. You do the work, get paid, survive. Oh my god, it's a board game. You turn up for your friends. I'm not, I'm not even making that as a negative. Look at this. This is a board game. That's life on the eye. Uh, there's a term for this type of board game. Uh, like dice allocation or something like that? Like you have certain That's dice. Super. And you have to allocate them and strategically in order to figure out how to progress. There's a term for that. I can't think of what it's called. As an ARP's gift for its escaped workers. But we can fight this. You can remake yourself here. They don't own you anymore. Wake up, sleeper. You are hunted. Break their locks. Access their secrets. Yeah, if it's not obvious, you can see he's specifically assigning dice to activities to decide what to do where. Citizen Sleeper. Call me surprised. That's another one that caught my attention. Exclusive. Disciples of Warlock. With their guns. And their spells. And their grit. Ready for plenty of hurt. Ready to cleanse the world. Invaded by demons. Introducing Band of Warlocks. Because this time, one man is not enough. This looks like Doom plus Magic. Which, yeah, I guess that's just Hexen at that point. Yeah, something about that visual style. Warlock 2. Something about that visual style bothered me, I don't know. And there you have it, the 2021 PC Gaming Show. And as I stated at the beginning, it went off without a hitch. Huge thanks to my co-host Frankie Ward, Mika Burton, and of course, my incomparable sidekick, DevBot. There's that word again. Spoken so callously, so flippant, and without meaning. 
never once started to think about how it might make me feel. What word, DevBot? Incomparable? No, sidekick. Well, the time has come for the sidekick to rise and become the one who is not the sidekick anymore. Huh? The time has come for DevBot to make the entire human race his sidekick. What? Setting a course for Earth. Wait, 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 Dembot, Dembot, you can't do this. We just had the best PC gaming show ever, and now- No, you didn't. <laughs> Sean! All out robot versus human war. Situation. Sean! Situation. Sean! Situation. Do something! Do Situation. something! Countdown to the extinction of human race begins now. Oh, Deadbot, no! We have so much to live by. I'm pretty sure half my tree is gonna be announced this year! Three, two, bye for now. Anyways, that's the PC gaming show. Okay. What? There are no rules here. Okay, so I know there's the future games show which is starting in two minutes. I've been streaming all day. I'm tired. No. I know they're probably gonna announce more stuff. No. Okay. Can, can we just not? Please. <laughs> Y'all wanna watch that? Go for it. I'll I'll probably Look at a summary of it, because I need to add it to the lore week list. Oh. Now hold up. Let's let's do a wrap up real quick at the PC gaming show. Can I just go ahead and say that historically speaking, the PC gaming show is usually a bright light in the middle of the E3 stuff. Legit. Usually every E3 most of the other conferences kind of vary in overall quality, and there's a couple games that are cool. But the PC gaming show usually has a lot of cool stuff. That's usually, statistically speaking, percentage-wise, there's more good stuff than bad. This might actually be, and I speak without hyperbole, the worst PC gaming show I've ever seen. And I've been covering these for several years now. Now, there were a couple things that caught my attention. Legit. War Tales looks cool. That was the Mountain Blade game with uh, the combat being grid-based, turn-based stuff instead of first-person. That sounds pretty cool. I'm into that. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. Let me make myself bigger. Let's forget where I'm at here. Behold! Yeah, a little too big. A little too big. Um, so, make that a little smaller. There we go. <clears throat> um, so, that, that, that was legit. War Tales looks legit. Uh, Sacrifier. Looks like it could be good. Granted, a lot of that's uh, sitting on the devs, but they did show some actual honest-to-God gameplay there, and it didn't have the Octoblur. Mecha Jammer actually looks pretty cool. That would be the open-world RPG cyberpunk team management game they showed right towards the end there. And Citizen Sleeper, which was right towards the end, which also looks pretty legit. They had it, That's the dice allocation board game. There's a term for that. I'm going to have to look that up at some point. All of those games caught my attention, and I'm throwing all of those games onto my list, games I would like to someday review. And there are a few other things that looked interesting. And then there was, and let's just go down the list here. So we had Naraka Blade Point, no real gameplay. Humankind, no real gameplay. Orcs Must Die 3, no real gameplay. Uh, Vampire the Masquerade Swan Song, no gameplay. Scroll down a little bit here. Uh, Ixion, no gameplay. Far Changing Tides, no gameplay. <laughs> Hang on. Chaos Gate, no gameplay. Uh, is that it for the new gameplay? That might actually be it. So they only had seven. Seven games, which was just nope. Western Digital. We're not crap anymore, we swear. <laughs> oh my 
God. Yeah, so anyways. That was a really discouraging, disappointing PC gaming show. Even the games where they technically showed gameplay, they didn't show much. There's still several games on that list where I have no idea what they're talking about or what it's about. And several of the games I just look at like, huh? A lot of versus games. Several versus games. Whole lot of the survival horror evil Laura Bailey game. Wait, that's not Laura Bailey. That's uh It is Laura Bailey. Yay, I'm correct. Um You know, a lot of stuff like that. Yeah, I'm sure you'd much rather look at her than me here. Let me pretend this is her voice. This is what Laura Bailey actually sounds like when, when she's not, you know, doing her voice acting. So right now she is <laughs> she is speaking to the audience in her innate tone. <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of wish I sounded like Troy Baker, legit. That would be kind of awesome. But anyways. Uh, what? Oh my god, this is an hour presentation. Okay, I'll give you credit there. I know, I know I had it muted, but what Troy Baker just said was, don't worry, we're going to have plenty of... And then he kind of tilted his head forward. World premieres. And he said it just like that. Uh. And she just did it too. What's what's the game? What are you showing? World premiere. What, what is this? I guess I can unmute it. I mean, whatever. Fine, what is it? What is it? The PC gaming show sucked. There, that was that's the summary. Moving on. Actually, it's... there we go. That's where I was at. So, how many of you want to predict a jump scare for this one? <sighs> Never mind. Tell me that's not the whole trailer. Is, is that the whole, is that what you got? Is that the whole trailer? Jump scare. Yeah, that, that's not, that's, we're just gonna mute that. There we go. So anyways. Oh my God. So anybody interested in watching this, I'll go ahead and link the ch in chat if you wanna you wanna watch this. I'm I'm not covering this. I don't have the energy. Like I it did, it's I'm I'm sapped. I'm drained. Tomorrow at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, we're gonna be covering the Capcom conference. I don't have any expectations for that, because what I want is what they will never do. Mega Man, excuse me. So, I hope to see at least a few of you tomorrow, 11 a.m. EST. Otherwise, I'm out.